Heads up, this is all based off of an early build for the early access version of Grip. Everything here is subject to change, and it's entirely possible that I'll be returning to it later on. Grip is a combat racing game created by Caged Element, a team of six that includes two people that actually worked on the original Roll Cage game. With Grip being heavily inspired by Roll Cage and the combat racers in general, it really sweetens the deal for me to know that some of the original creators of the main source of inspiration are involved. Grip's universe is an interesting one, and while there isn't any story in-game yet, there's a pretty solid write-up of the backstory on the game's website. In this world, underground street racing never fell out of focus, instead it grew and grew until a pirate TV station known as Grip started up and the scene just exploded. When money eventually became involved, the drivers in this dangerous and underground sport slowly started putting weapons and armor on their vehicles to ensure that they made it to the end of the race with less opposition, allowing them to get more money. Obviously, the government is pretty heavily against this, and has been from the start, but at this point, the regular police are pretty much useless, so they opt to start sending military to these events to try and disrupt them. Eventually, the whole scene ended up making its way off-world, because this is the future, and that leads us pretty much up to where the game is set. Various off-world planets with improvised racetracks and super illegal racing filled with death and explosions. Right now, Grip has two game modes, not including a playground mode and three maps, not including the playground map. There's also only single player in the version that I have, but multiplayer is an option right on the main menu, so it's safe to say that it'll exist. I just hope that they kind of take after what Rocket League did and allow for split screen locally, online, and then split screen locally combined with online. Race mode is exactly what you'd expect. You compete against other drivers for a set number of laps on a chosen track. Arena is, again, what you'd expect. You battle it out against other drivers in an arena. In both modes, you use weapons and power-ups that are littered around the track to your advantage. There are missiles, mines, chain guns, a shield, and a speed boost in game so far. Before hopping into a race or battle, you can also adjust AI difficulty, pick up an engine strength, and number of laps. You can only choose between 2, 4, or 8 laps right now. I feel like this should become a variable that the players can choose because why wouldn't I want to choose a track, set all the strengths to max, and then race around it 99 times with my friends? Race mode is hands down the best way to play grip right now. It's so satisfying to go fast as you blast the crap out of your enemies and shoot past them at absolutely ridiculous speeds. But while it's fun, it could definitely do with some balancing. The most exciting parts of a racing game are when you're near other drivers, battling neck and neck to place better. Right now, that's mostly focused at the beginning of a race, when everyone's gathered together and it quickly dissipates, especially if you make it into first. There are a few things that I think are contributing to this. While pickups are useful, I've found that reaching for them will actually slow you down a measure amount and drivers often just aren't close enough, often enough, to warrant putting effort into picking them up. There's no blue shell equivalent in-game at present either, but the pickups list on the website details something designed specifically to take out the race leader, so hopefully that and these other awesome sounding power-ups get added soon. The cars themselves, while huge and insanely fast, seem to be much lighter than they should be. It seems like they're often trying to flip around for no reason, and there have been a lot of times when I'm just driving along and I guess I hit a small bump and it shoots my car all willy-nilly. In other situations, you're just going so fast that you can't adequately turn or adjust your direction to avoid obstacles or bits of environment and you'll get flipped every way to Sunday. The cars need to be heavier so that they stick better to the track and don't flip around so needlessly and there definitely needs to be a handbrake added. There's a brake button in-game already, but it's more of a normal brake and not a handbrake. Having a handbrake in a world where the car is heavier would allow for some awesome maneuvers and would allow for drivers to actually make their corners. Lastly, it seems like because of how flippy the cars are, the AI drivers often get stuck on the environment. There were a number of times when I drive past an AI stuck on a wall, then lap them over and over for the rest of the race. And this is on the hard setting. I guess it's possible that their cars are busted because they took too much damage, but there's no health bar or percentage in race mode, so it's kind of hard to tell. If that is what's happening, then there should be a way to tell. Perhaps a kill feed, or the car could actually blow up. Just some way to know that X, Y, and Z players are out of the race, and a way to tell if cars you're passing are broken or just stuck. While we're talking about the HUD, I just want to say that it's kind of cluttered. This could be personal taste, but I prefer a much more minimalistic HUD. Show me what place I'm in, the weapons I have, my time, and my speed. You could remove the weapons element from the HUD and just place the weapon models on the vehicle itself, freeing up some screen space. Also, side note, what is this stuff in the top left for? I have no idea what these symbols mean or what the bars are doing. 
thing. Unless this is super important information, it could probably be removed as well. All that said, I still have crazy amounts of fun just driving around thanks to how insanely fast everything feels. When your run is going great and you're zipping by slowpokes at the start, when you're blasting enemies when you can, and when you use the built-in slow-mo feature just right and get awesome shots, it's, it's indescribably great. It's ridiculously fun. Arena mode, on the other hand, is a bit of a mess. The weight handling and speed of the cars are even more of a problem here because of how much more you need to maneuver. To top it off though, the map that exists is just too big for eight players, and when the number dwindles down to about four or five, it actually becomes difficult to find anyone. Making the map smaller, raising the player count, or using your newly freed up screen space for some kind of HUD element to find players, maybe a radar, would help this out a lot. There also aren't a lot of pickups yet, so it can get stale kind of quick. Arena could benefit from having stage hazards added, things like pits, spikes, or environmental objects that damage you, as well as having something akin to traps that the players could activate. This might liven up some of the racetracks as well, but for sure this would be amazing for Arena. Grip is a game with loads of potential, and what exists is, for the most part, loads of fun. It's gorgeous, the music is awesome, and I can't wait to play it with friends. Three levels isn't a lot, but it looks like there are going to be plenty if each planet has three or four tracks as the UI suggests. A level creator of some sort could easily add some longevity to the game as well. There are a lot of awesome features promised on the website, and we'll definitely be taking another look at Grip once it's closer to completion. You should be able to pick up Grip on Steam's early access platform in a few days, though I can't find a price listed anywhere. If you're a fan of combat racers like Roll Cage or Twisted Metal, and have a hankering for going fast and blowing things up, then Grip is one for you to keep an eye on. Thanks for joining me for this episode of Indie Bytes. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please remember to leave a like and subscribe for more. If you have any indie games that I should check out, then please shoot them my way. You can leave a comment down below, or you can drop me a line on Twitter. My handle's at ForkH, or you can shoot me an email at Fork4H at gmail.com. I'll see you next time. Bye!